Hello everyone and welcome back to The Insane Asylum. I'm your host Pat Sajak and let's spin the Wheel of Misfortune. Last time we left off at Concrete Jungle, which now leads us to the mission, Do You Have Protection? Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. So, after Mikael and Dimitri bicker like an old married couple for a little while, Mikael tells us he wants us to go down to a sex shop to collect some lost profits from someone who's been making basement pornography. He's not been cutting Mikael in. Luckily, Dimitri says this. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. So the mission goes kind of, kind of smoothly. I did have to shoot one guy in the leg, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos, and sell them, whoa, and whoa, we won't whoa. know about it, huh? We just wait until the huh? books were closed at the end of huh? the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you Your in. books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. It's not a fact. Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push in one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, man, please, go easy on me. Come on, big guy. Come on, Nico, put a cap in his fucking leg. Bastard. All right, all right, all right. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have the re- You should have thought of that earlier. Don't kill me! I got a load of desperate fans on the internet! This is a mess. Let's get out of here. So, you and Mr. Faust, have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that, is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. So, now that we were able to get through that mission without killing anyone, that leads us to the next mission, which is called Final Destination. So, what is it? We've got police trouble. The feds or someone are all over us. Sergei told me that a friend of his in the courts told him they've been authorized to tap our phones and they know about the pot we stole. Shit. Who is the rat? It's no one. It's just the way we've been behaving. Making too much noise. This was inevitable. We're going to have to calm things right down for a while. It's that fucking guy, yeah. I know it is. I saw it in his eyes. You know? That guy. That guy who bought the coke. But he didn't buy the That's pot. That's Lenny. He's my cousin's boyfriend. It's not him. Yes, he's a moron. Yes, but he's okay. I don't trust him. What? I just told you. He knows too much. Oh. You, kill him. He lives on Guantanamo Avenue in Bohan. Head up there and call me. Me personally, when you get there. Mikhail, please, don't do this. Shut up. I, shut the fuck up. I'm begging I you. Said, shut the fuck please up. Please, don't Go. do this. Why don't you You listen? want to play games? This hey, is not break. a game. You stop. have to play I by the stop. rules. So, my goal here was to figure out how to deal with Lenny without having to kill him. Once I got close to Guantanamo train station, Mikael told me I could find Lenny up there and I began testing the limits of this mission. No, I never changed my mind. I've heard he's at the Guantanamo Avenue station. Go to the platform and get rid of that rat. Shut up, Dimitri! For the last time! 
So, dealing with Lenny resulted in a few small problems. First off, there were some dudes shooting me when I confronted him, but that wasn't a huge issue because I could just run off after Lenny. Hey Lenny, Mikhail Faustin don't like you no more. It's nothing personal. Faustin ain't nobody. Fuck off! It's enough of a somebody to get you killed. Do what my father wants to do. After Lenny got down from the railway, he got into a car, and his ability to drive makes this guy an absolute menace to society, I tell you what. And of course, the car door was locked, because why wouldn't it be? As usual, the police are dick useless in this game. After chasing him on foot for a little while, this kind gentleman was nice enough to let me borrow his car for a little while. I then followed Lenny all the way to Tenbuktu and back. In an attempt to not kill him, I shot out every single one of his tires and smashed into his car a bit in hopes that disabling his car may be enough to complete the mission. I mean, come on, this is fucking ridiculous. To my immense surprise, he finally made it to some apartment and he ran inside, which somehow constitutes him getting away from me despite me being right there and seeing his dumbass run in. But I'm just a pawn in this giant game of chess and I don't make the rules, so I had to start the mission over. Unfortunately for me, this meant that I had to beat his ass. So I beat him to death, and unfortunately we have to add one melee kill to the total. But, got us past this mission. You want some more? <laughs> Nico, do you know what you have done? I have followed Mr. Faustin's orders. Not much more. The boy you killed was the son of Kenny Petrovich. This is a very dangerous man. You will not take kindly to this. How was I to know? You weren't. This is Mikhail's craziness. I will speak to people and see what I can do. From here, I tried to go to the mission No Love Lost, but holy shit, that mission is fucking impossible. So anyways, I just went ahead and tried to do some other missions, and uh, we'll deal with that one in the next episode. Luckily, I received a text from Roman asking me to come by to the depot, where we get to meet everyone's favorite testosterone junkie, the man, the myth, legend, Brucey Kibbutz. Brucey, yeah! stop exercising! Because I just learned this, and holy shit, this is hilarious, you have to witness this too. Do you know what Brucey's full name is? Brucey Motivation Kibbutz. This is not a joke. This is absolutely hilarious. This mission, aptly called Logging On, is one that I won't spend much time on. Basically, Roman wants me to create an email for my family overseas so they can contact me. It's just exposition. It's a super fast mission with no enemies, so this one's pacifist approved. We'll just get there. Damn these people. Hey, Roman. Who is steroid tip? Brucey! Have you met my cousin, Nico? This is Brucey. We met online. Oh, lovemeet.net? Ha <laughs> No! In a dark corner, doing dark deeds. We're both players, my friend. Players. VIP. For real. Classy. But also sexy. Hmm. Listen, man. You should try going online. Uh, I know how to go on the line. I just haven't done it here. <laughs> Listen. I promised Brucey I'd go out with him. Can you go out and get it sorted? Uh, okay. Go to Twat and register on one of the PCs there. A pretty girl is expecting you. Hey there. My name's Nico. My cousin, he told me to come here. Roman? He called me about you. He's so funny. I set you up on that computer already. Literally, this mission just consists of the riveting gameplay of setting up an email account. So, 
Yeah. Nico, how are you? It's Michelle. You want to hang out? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Uh, some other time. Oh? Really? I wanted to see you. Before we go on to the next mission, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Uncle Bastard's Pancake Whiskey. It don't just do breakfast drunk, neither. From here, we go on to the mission Shadow. This mission was a bit of a challenge. Hey! Hey, boy, don't ah, move, don't move! The fuck, don't move, boy, how are you? Eh? Oh, where you come from? How are you? Hey, man, I'm here to see Jacob. It's Nico. Nico? Batman, what's going on there, sir? Some boy I just saw a beat off the door. Some boy just saw call himself Nico, say, so want to see a road boy. Nico? I'm a boy that bad man, man. Yo, free up the boy, man, yo. Are you a boy, that? Yeah. Sure. Boy, that's come on, you. 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 You want to control the taxi? Anyway, some boy I ramp with bad man, you know. I want to ask you a favor. Go on, no? Hey, my youth. Some boy them dip on the corner and thing, and the boy them sell some things and thing, and I go on, I say, oh, them don't want to give me my money and thing, and every corner of my corner, and I want my money and thing, you know. I know sweat I go, go, you know. I want to deal with the case proper. You know, see it? All right. Let me explain. In case you didn't quite catch that, in this mission, little Jacob and Badman want Nico to go find a dealer who's slinging weed on the streets and not cutting them in. Once I find this dealer, I have to follow him back to his place and take out him and anyone else that he's working with. Now let me tell you, this guy walks slow as hell, and for the first 20 times or so that I tried this mission, I was scared getting too close to him would cause me to fail the mission and I'd have to restart back at little Jacob's apartment. But then one time, I got a little too close to him, and much to my frustration, I found out that it just makes him run to his destination, meaning I had wasted a shitload of my time following this asshole at two miles an hour, this whole time. Once he arrives at the apartment to re-up from his suppliers, the game wants me to take them all out. Being the responsible, law-abiding citizen that I am, I tried calling the police to report a couple of drug dealers. Hello. You're through to the Liberty City of Mer- I'm sorry, but all our peacekeepers are currently busy filling quotas and dealing with paperwork. To nobody's surprise, the police are incompetent, so I was on my own with this one. In order to get an idea of what I was dealing with, I ran in and started fist fighting the closest guy just to get a layout of where the guys would be and how they would behave whenever I walked into there. So, using my god-tier art skills, I drew this little diagram to show you what I was able to gather from that encounter, and I'm also going to include a little bit of tidbits of information that I was able to gather through the other times that I did this. Playing the part of the three dealers is Colonel Ain't Stinkmeaner, because I'm about to beat them to death. Nigga, you better have insurance! Ass-whooping insurance, and you about to pay a deductible! And just like that, Nico Bellic was trapped in a nigga moment. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> So, here's what seems to happen in this apartment. Nobody is in that left room, and from what I witnessed, no one ever moved in there during an altercation. So, there's really no need to worry about it. It's not important. When Nico enters the apartment, this guy on the right will typically try to move out of his position over this way. If I go past about this line right here, it can trigger this guy to move out from behind the wall, which becomes deadly because he goes from taking blind pot shots at me to being able to directly hit me almost every single time. This guy seems to never leave his position because he has a line of sight on me and can hit me anyways. So I had to try a few other strategies. Let me just try the various emergency services. I know I've tried it already before, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Hello. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, that's what I thought. Hello. Yes. Hello, you're through to the MS paramedics. In which area is your medical emergency? South Bohan. We'll send a basically trained paramedic as soon as we can, sir. Don't move and please have your insurance documentation or credit card ready. 
okay, so I hear them out there. I doubt that they're going to have enough intelligence to come in here, though. Okay, so the paramedics are useless. Let's try the firefighters. I doubt any of them are going to be smart enough to be able to get Hello. up to this room, though. Hello, this is the FDOC. Where do you need assistance? South Bohan. We'll get a fire truck out to you right away. Hold tight and please be advised that the FDLC takes no responsibility for damage to property. So you can hear them outside. They're like out there somewhere. But they're not going to be... <clears throat> they're not going to be intelligent enough to make it up the stairs to figure out that's where they need to go. That looks like a really dangerous way to scratch your head, Nico. So we got to start thinking creatively here. Could I call any of my friends for help? Nope, not Michelle. Fuck you, Michelle. Yeah, I'm busy, calm about. That's kind of what I expected. No one else could really help me here. Roman's a pussy, so this is a waste of a call, but... Ladies, this is Roman Bellick, but I guess you already know that. Leave a message. Jesus, okay. Hang on, what if I just run in, hit this guy... Run, 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 run. Okay, will that coax him? Oh, shit! Oh, okay, yes. The answer is yes, okay. Okay, so maybe this is the path here. Ow. Uh, wait, where is he going? Oh, shit. No, don't go back in the apartment. Don't go back in the apartment. So the answer is yes, I can coax this guy out. Hang on, let me turn locking back on. Okay, let's see if I can, Jesus Christ. Fucking, could you just, could you not? Jesus, uh, fuck me. I must be bugging right now. You, I'm bugging right now, dude. So, but that does answer that question. I can get him out. While that did often work, it wasn't the most reliable means of getting him outside so that I could fight him separately from the other guys. Okay, so they are behind that door. And let's spook him. Nico, please get off the wall. Oh, oh, don't take the long way around, my friend. Okay. Did that bring him out? It, it definitely took him out of his position of cover. But did he just take another one? So now he's on this side of the door. That's ridiculous. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's see if I can shoot the guns out of their hands. I've had two people in my comment section tell me that this works. I don't know if that's true, but let's, yeah, let's give it a try. Nope. Wait, does he still have a gun? He does still have a gun. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Hang on, let me go to uh, keyboard and mouse. Like, just, just shoot the fucking gun. Just shoot the gun. He's not dropping the gun. Wait, he takes damage if I only hit the gun? Okay, so it definitely seems like just shooting the gun is not a viable option. Yeah, and I just fucking killed that guy. Okay. But this is just for this is just for testing purposes. So like No amount of shooting them in the gun 
seems to make them... Could you just fucking not? Uh, I'm sorry, could you fuck off? Uh, no amount of shooting them in the gun seems to prevent them from holding the gun. So even when I shoot him in the arm, shoot him right in the gun, he's still... Hang on, let's... He's definitely still holding the gun. And let me get, like, real up and close and friendly. Hang on, where's your gun? Yeah, I can't get the guys to... Okay, I can't get the guys to drop the gun. So... Uh, sir? <laughs> yeah, I would feel bad too if I got stuck like that, you moron. So it definitely, fuck, okay, well, so okay. Here's the problem right now is that this whole room is a hornet's nest. After many times of trying to lure out the guy on the right just to fist fight him, it ended up being a futile effort because I would just be too hurt to effectively deal with the other two who were so close to each other. What I ultimately ended up deciding was I would shoot the guy on the left, which would allow me to fist fight the guy all the way on the right without getting bombarded with bullets the whole time. Get up! Oh. Stay down there. This allowed me to go safely into the back room, fist fight that last guy. What, did you think I was a joke? Hey, what? You had enough? Don't make me kill you. With that, I was able to get through this mission, but unfortunately that does mean I have to add two melee kills and one gun kill to our total. Tell Batman that I got rid of the competition. Righteous. The corner belongs to I again. And nobody gonna fuck with I's corner no more, no things. One love, Nico. Completing this brings us to the end of the episode. Our current tally for kills is going to be 11 melee kills and 4 people killed by being shot with a pistol. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I've been having a ton of fun making this series and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Take it easy my friends.